Mignani here for Astor Auctioneers Great Texas Mopar Hoard Auction Event with item number 225. This is a 1959 or 58, one of those two, Dodge D300 one-ton cab and chassis uh, commercial vehicle. The beauty of this is the front clip, the front fenders are really, really nice. No rust on these from top to bottom. The magnet sticks everywhere we put it. A little bit of a dent right there. Again, it is a work truck, but again, this is Texas suntan right here. That is not rust. That is surface uh, etching, if you will, courtesy of the sun. Just uh, dual action sand it, prime it, paint it, and you are good. But again, the magnet sticks everywhere. Wonderful. We go to the nose and we look under the hood. And again, that grill, wow, how nice is that? The anodized is beautiful. The little uh, Dodge logo there for the truck line. Aftermarket heavy duty uh, brush, brush guard right there. Pretty cool piece. This is really nice, the Dodge logo. And under the beautiful hood, we have guts. All right, 1958 slash 59, there it is. The 230 cubic inch flathead six, which first appeared in 1936. We do see air conditioning, probably for the cargo area. This probably was a refrigerated van. And the radiator is there and intact. And there it is, the one barrel carburetor, the oil bath air cleaner, manual, big manual drum brakes on this. Of course, manual steering or what they call Armstrong steering. It's as uh, strong as your arms are. But again, this fender here, driver's side, also looking really, really nice down low. Magnet sticks everywhere you put it. And these bits here, this is always paper thin on East Coast trucks, but this thing here is absolutely rust free. Beautiful. Fenders are sweet all the way around, all the way up and down. And here we see the build tag from Murphy Body Works in Wilson, North Carolina. So the Wilson company is the one that built the body. And again, Dodge built cab and chassis, which then would be shipped minus body to outfits like Murphy in North Carolina. Now this door here is a sliding telescoping door. Can't get it open, but inside we see the, uh, it's got a bench seat up front, four speed manual transmission and uh, lots of space inside. The commercial body itself is kind of rusty. It's steel, not aluminum, a bit of surface rust on it. These rear fenders are Dodge items. I believe the Dodge Power Wagon line yielded these fenders, which were then supplied with the cabin chassis. But this is a typical uh, Dodge heavy duty two-piece split rims, Dana 60 rear axle, big full-floating axle shafts. But again, this is Dodge stuff right there. Uh, kind of hard to find when you need it. Around the back, here's some propane tank activity. This was converted from the, uh, the refrigerated truck to a camper at some point in time. Uh, Heavy-duty rear step bumper here. Got to weigh about 300 pounds right there. <laughs> big stuff. Inside, some vintage, um, you know, camper stuff. A, uh, a serve well refrigerator way off in the distance, a little gas stove here. Somebody was, you know, camping out. Maybe they went to Woodstock in this thing, who knows? Or maybe uh, Altamont or who can say. Um, the body itself does have a little bit of rust. The ceiling, of course, that's made of wood. It's collapsing down a little bit. A little bit of uh, elbow work would bring this back. Here on the um, passenger side, the steel body work is, you know, surface rust, but again, if this was New England, this wouldn't even be here. Texas, well, that's just a nice suntan. Again, we have the full floating rear axle here with the heavy-duty Dodge rims. Uh, a little bit of rust here on the body, the Murphy body, the steel kind of giving way a little bit. The uh, driver's side door over here is um, uh, pretty sweet. So what, I, what I'd say with this, uh, number 225, is that we have a vehicle that is ready to be parted out. The front clip is really solid. If you have a Dodge pickup truck, these fenders will work for you. So will the cab or the, the hood. Um, but that's the story of uh, item number 225, flathead six, four-speed manual, ice cream delivery truck. Bit away.